See, when I read this headline at first, I was like, there's no way that this can be as egregious. Author admits to stealing manuscript. There must be something else to this, right? They submitted it to the International Small Business Journal, a Sage publication. Sage is a uh, academic journal umbrella. You can think of it like a, a record label. The editors rejected it without sending it to a peer review. So did the Journal of Entrepreneurship, another Seychelle. So Johnson and Flagstad submitted to the Cogent Business and Management as perhaps the worst Christmas present. They saw their paper published by someone else. Only there were a few differences between their manuscript and one that appeared in Vision, the Journal of Business Perspective, also a sage title. While the manuscript they submitted is about a small scale Norwegian manufacturing company, the Vision version had all the same data, same findings, same discussions, but somehow was about small scale auto ancillary companies in India. A little control F, but for those in the know, control H. February 13th, the first author, Babin Das De Devad Hansen, wrote to Flagstad in Devad Hassan. Defadistad, the last author of the paper, to say he wanted to retract it. This is why they wanted to retract. Respected sir slash madam. My name is Bobbin Das, and I requested Professor Meyer and Dr. Moon Moon to assist me in getting a paper published in Vision. The paper's name is The Psychology of Green Entrepreneurship, Environmentally Sustainable Organizational Climate in Small Scale Companies in India. I am a PhD student in India, and I needed a publication in order to submit my thesis. I am the first author of the manuscript, and I admit I obtained the paper in an unethical manner Behavior made by myself only. I didn't write the paper, but I told my co-authors whom I requested to assist me in the publication process that it was my work. <laughs> I lied to them and may have gotten them in trouble. They have only assisted me so far, and I apologize for my mistake in this issue. None of the co-authors were, were was aware of my unethical behaviors. I will immediately request that the paper be retracted from the journal. I am apologize, uh, probably apologetic. Kindly forgive me, thank you, Babin. This is just wild. A day after that, Natanya Meyer, one of the co-authors who uh, Flagstad told the re told Retractor Watch was very helpful throughout the process, wrote to the editor and journal to follow up. Sadly, he came to our knowledge that lead author presented his work to uh, as his own to us and co-authors. Please see the email below. Also, Babin Das admitted to us that the work was plagiarized. See his confession below. As professional academics, we understand the seriousness of this issue and hereby request that the paper be attracted as soon as possible. I've been in contact with Dr. Flagstad and assured her we would fully cooperate to solve this unfortunate issue as soon as possible. Please guide us in the next step. We sincerely apologize for the unfortunate event caused by Mr. Babin Das's unethical behavior. This is unethical. It's stealing, right? And it's more than stealing. It's um, to plagiarize a, a journal article, especially when you quite literally copy and pasted stuff and changed the location from Norway to India. Uh, they were getting rejected from all sorts of different publications. And that's because their pub this publication probably was getting red flagged by plagiarism bots. So it would automatically flag any copies of papers present in this in these journal oh, publications. Apologies to apologize for oopsies. So they're getting flagged, red flagged, automatically rejected. While that was happening, they get fucking scooped, right? This is what they call scooping. And really this is worse than scooping. This is, uh, this is actual academic plagiarism. If you've spent X amount of years researching and writing and editing this process with you and your co-collaborators, you and your co-authors on a paper, and then someone ends up taking your paper and publishing it as if it was their own, not having to do any of the work, not having to spend any of the money required to do the work, not having to collaborate and be in on all those meetings over the course of a year plus, two years, three years for some projects. Someone just comes in and literally snakes your paper away. That's a big deal because at least researching professors, publications are their lifeblood, right? So to scoop one from someone who might only publish once a year, that's literally taking money out the, the mouth, you know? We suspect that it was in a review process that the article had been stolen and we are in direct dialogue with Cogent. So 
this little line right here, for those who are uninitiated in the academic process, there is something called peer review. You write an academic paper, you submit it to an academic journal, and now your paper is going to be under what is called peer review, reviewing your paper, your work in terms of the merit of its science, and if it is good enough to be published in a particular publication. Usually it's around anywhere between like weeks to months, which means if this was in the peer review process, then someone like uh, this Babin Das guy could have been requested to review a paper. And as a grad student, sometimes you get requested to review papers. I was, as a grad student, I was requested to review three different papers throughout my time. And Babin Das might have had a peer reviewed paper from this particular group out in Norway and uh, thought, well, What's the worst that can happen? Well, here we are on a website literally called Retraction Watch, which showcases the most infamous modern scientists of our time right now. You are now on that website. So that's the worst that can happen. Your entire career can be ruined. Does that only matter in academics or would this follow them into industry? It depends on how deep uh, your vetting process goes in industry. It definitely would follow you in academics. An issue here is if you Google this person's name, the publication, Small Scale Auto Ancillary Companies in India, that is the top thing that comes up with this person's name.